The Labor Party conference is underway and while there's plenty of out there stuff on the table, there's one particularly dangerous proposal that you shouldn't miss. It's a plan from the CFMEU to in effect replicate what's called the best practice principles for procurement that apply in Queensland for the whole of the nation. What does that mean? Well, delete the words best practice principles and substitute in CFMEU and you'll pretty much be on the right track. In Queensland, these principles operate to make it really unlikely that anyone pitching for a big government contract will have a chance unless they agree to adopt the union's terms on all subject matters, lock, stock and barrel. And the effect is that Queensland taxpayers now pay 40% more for all of these projects. Now, on big projects like Cross River Rail or the Gabba redevelopment, that means literally billions of dollars extra. The rules operate to force head contractors to similarly commit to using subcontractors on the same terms. And what that does is cut small and medium-sized businesses out from being a part of that government work ecosystem, denying those who do the ability to operate flexibly or differently to the big players to work a boutique advantage. If you want to know why 2,200 construction businesses went to the wall last year, well, this is a big part of the reason. Costs that are 40% higher than they should be. It's precisely the kind of inefficient, sluggish policy that makes this country less productive. It makes taxation higher. It makes inflation higher. And across the economy, that means you pay more for everything. Now, union ideologues like to say they're just fighting for higher pay for working people. In fact, as Productivity Commission Chairman Gary Banks explained yesterday, it's actually setting everyone up for a much poorer future. And that harms the very working people that unionists claim to represent. Productivity is a pro-worker, pro-job security, lower cost of living approach. And it's a huge betrayal of the Labor Party's traditions and base that they now have this madness on its federal policy books as well as in force in Labor-held states like Queensland.